Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to show you how you can embed and link documents into a project task. So first of all, let's create some tasks. Call this project A. Just do a couple of tasks. Tasks A, B, and C. And then I'll just indent those tasks so project A becomes a summary task. Indent those. And let's do some durations. Two, three, two. So does it come up with the uh, planner? And I'll just do some links as well. If I just move this across a little bit. So we'll go two and three. So they're all follow ons like so. So that's your little project plan. Now, what you can do. Quite often people type out a whole series of tasks because that's what has to be done. But if you've already got method statements and tasks and things like that already created, you don't have to type them all out. You can embed them in to the task or link them in to the task. So if I double click on task A, task information opens up and where you need to go is notes. And you do need to give it a little title, otherwise nothing will appear in this information column or the indicator column if you don't. So I'll just call this specification. So that's going to be the title. Press and enter. And then you click on the last icon of this little list of this little toolbar. If I click on that, insert object, it says it will open up the file types that you've got on your computer. Now you've got there create a new or create from, which is what I want to do first off. And then you just browse your computer or your network for the file that you want to add so i'm looking down there i'll go into examples i'll get myself an excel file and i'll get this one charting which is just um, a, an excel file i've created now this is a key thing if i tick that this will just be a pointer like a desktop shortcut to that file and, and i will be opening up the original and i'll tick that as well if you don't tick this so that's the shortcut look if you don't tick that the whole thing will open up inside this box which then if you had two or three files embedded, you'd have to scroll down the bottom of the first one to get to the next one and so on. So it makes good sense to have them display as icons, but you can still open them up as you will see in a minute. If I click OK to that, it usually takes a couple of seconds for it to come up. But there you go. If I double click on that, I should be able to open up that file. And there you go. That is that Excel file. It is a live copy of that Excel file. So if I do any changes, they will be reflected in there. If I close that off for a minute, not going to save that. And then I click OK to this. And then what you get now in the indicator column is the little note symbol with the title specification. So if I didn't do a title, you can just about see a little apostrophe there. That's all you would see. So it makes sense to put a bit of narrative in there so you know what it is. So that was me grabbing a file that I've already created. But let's now go for a blank one. If I double click on task B, um, I'm still on notes. I'll just call this budget. Press enter. Now I want a blank spreadsheet. So if I click on that icon again, this time I'm going create from new and you've got their worksheet. Now that's the old one. So I want an Excel worksheet, that one. That's an older version. So just this one. You've got the chart option there. Look, still going for the icon though. Clicking OK. Now what's going to happen now? It's going to open Excel. Now on my computer excel opened very quickly and then collapsed again so i'll open it up now this is if i make this full screen so you can see this it's actually a worksheet in project so what you can do now is create a um, a little spreadsheet so if i just do that three items and then cost and we can just add that up so i use this like as uh, incidental costs put today's date in this control semicolon just bring it down a few cells, three cells. Item will have hotel, car, and food. And then you can put some figures against those. Add them up at the bottom. Alt equals is the key command. Check it's picking them up. Click the tick. And then maybe format those to pounds if you want. Now you don't ha actually have to save this. This is sitting inside project. But you can save it if you want, and then it'll be outside the project as well. If I just close that down to show you, there it sits. I click OK to that. I get the same little icon 
when I double click back into it, if I double click back into that, what I did is still there and I didn't click save anywhere. So it's embedded in project itself. Click OK to that. So there's two ways of doing it. If you've got the software on your computer, you can just embed a complete blank copy of whatever software you want. Or you can use a link option. Now, what I, what I want to do is task C is just do that first option again without ticking the icon so you can see what happens. So I won't bother with the title on this one, but let's just go for it. So from file, browsing, charting. I'm not ticking that. I'm not ticking that either, but that doesn't really matter. This is just going to be a detached copy. Now, you've got to be careful with this because this is going to make this project file large if you've got loads of these. So I'll click OK to that. And then what it should do is put that file opened up inside here. That's what I was on about. So it's now opened up. And if I wanted two or three files in here, I'd have to scroll to the bottom of that one before I could see the next one. And that's why I choose the icon as the option. But the same process, click OK, and then that will drop in. So that's basically how you can embed and link or just embed a document into a project file. So hopefully that's of use. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe.